Hola estudiantes, it's Mrs. Santiago here, and today we're going to explore the country of Peru through cultures and pictures. I'm in your OneNote, Chapter 10, Travel, and I am on the page Peru, Culture and Pictures. I'm going to eliminate the table of contents and make the page big so we can take the notes together. So let's do the beginning. I'm looking over at Peru's flag, it has a llama. It's right here. Okay, so it has a llama on it, kind of a cool fact. Um, and that is looking to the flag. It is Rojo y Blanco. Um, and now down, this picture below. So this is the Incan ruins at Machu Picchu. Machu, let me make my pen a little bit skinnier so it will be easier for you to read. Okay, so the ruins at Machu Picchu. They are a world treasure and a tourist must visit. So this is the ancient city. Um, you'll watch a video on it of Machu Picchu, the Incan Empire, thought to be a retreat or a ceremonial site that was eventually just abandoned and then rediscovered at a later date. Um, actually, like in the 1950s, I want to say, maybe the 20s. Um, Peru sits on the Ring of Fire. So if you were following this picture of the Ring of Fire, Peru, right about here, right? Peru, um, Chile, Trench. So you can see that water. That's the Peru, Chile, Trench. Over here on the left, we have Callao. It is Peru's largest port city. Then in the middle here, we have a map. And we want to point out that five countries border Peru. We have Ecuador 1, Colombia 2, um, we have Brazil 3, Bolivia 4, y Chile 5. So in Peru, you can see some of the things we just talked about. Here is Machu Picchu. We're going to talk about Cusco. The Nazca Lines are right here, capital city of Lima. Notice the Andes Mountains start in this region as well. Okay, so five countries border Peru. The capital city is on the coast, right on the coast. It was established in 1535 by the explorer Francisco Pizarro, and that capital city is Lima, Peru. Look at the picture. It really shows how that city goes right up to the coastline. And you can see it's almost like on cliffs. And then look at the roads below that are there to go to the ocean, right on the coast. To the left, we have Francisco Sagasti. He is El Presidente. They have a almost a kind of a weird thing where he is the president right now. But in the second round of presidential, almost like elections, that will take place on June 6th of 2021. So that picture might have to change. Next, we have history in the everyday. So the Mara, I love this picture. This is the Mara salt mines, the ancient method to pool water. You can see that they look like individual pools and evaporate the water to produce salt. And it's still used today to produce different types of salt in different different areas, the salt mines. So the weaving of cloth in bright colors has happened for centuries. It's called los tejidos in Spanish, the weavings. And here you can see a woman making the cloth. It's used for men, women, and children. And it's usually made from the wool of the llamas or the alpacas. So I'm going to write llamas, but but it could also be the alpacas, alpaca wool. Okay, so this next to it looks like a necklace. This is actually called a kipu, and a kipu is a knotted string, almost like a message. It's almost like they're sending a text message. They did not have a written language, so this was almost like a string language used to send messages. It was a method of their type of almost physical or written communication. So each little knot, based on where it is on the string, meant something. So you can see the different knots at different levels. That is a kipu. 
Now I like this picture. You can see that it's got um, the clothing, the bright colored clothing. It's got the musical instruments. Here you can see one and here you see another. What is this up in front? You can see a llama. You can see the traditional headdresses here, here, the different hats. Okay, so the Incan influence is seen in the everyday clothing, music. There's the pan flute, and the pan flute is right here as well with a more modern picture. Um, it They influence transportation and housing and basically the everyday life of the people. So the llamas, and here I've got a little picture of the llamas. This is kind of directing to this picture. Um, the llamas provided food, transportation of goods, and wool for clothing. Now, right here below on this side, we're talking about shh, these two pictures. The ancient lines carved in the desert can only be seen as a full picture from the sky. These are called the Nazca lines. And you can see I gave a close up here of the monkey. But look at all the different pictures. Can you figure out what they are? Right? There's a hummingbird, a condor, a monkey, a spider, and iguana. And I am not sure what the rest of those are. A person. So they are etched into the ground. And you can't get the full picture unless you're from the sky. If you were standing next to it, it would just look like an, a long indent. Muy bien. Let's look at this side. Okay, here we have again, this is pointing right to this guy right here. Okay, the iconic pan flute, pan, pan flute. It's still played today. Now down below, this is a really cool place. Okay, this is called Lago, which is lake. And the name of it is Titi Kaka. Lago Titi Kaka is the world's highest, like altitude highest above sea level. Navigable means you can put a boat in it and use it, body of water. So these people use the reeds, like you would think of it as like a cattail, to make boats and islands that their houses are on. So that is not land underneath there in the picture that you're seeing. That is all put together from the reeds. And these boats are made from reeds. The houses are made from reeds. And in fact, this whole island is made from reeds. And reeds are like, I'm going to draw, this is a terrible picture, but like um, cattails. You know how you can, and they turn into like feathers. Okay, so this is like an old cattail. New cattails kind of look like this, right? They have a little thing on the end. It looks like a hot dog. Okay, page three, iconic items, places, and activities. The national dance of Peru is called La Marinera. Marinera, the semen. So Peruvian horses are bred with a special gait. They prance. They're called Paso Fino. Paso Fino. And it looks like they're walking in a very strange way for a horse. Um, we'll watch a video on that. Colonial City, outside Machu Picchu. So Cusco is the city that was the capital of the Incan Empire, and it is home of the Sun Temple ruins, which were actually the Spanish came and built right on top of the Incan Sun Temple, but now they've uncovered it so you can see part of the walls, and that is Cusco. Peru is actually known as a food destination. So some of the big things to do in Peru, if you're going there to eat, fish cooked in its in citrus juice, like lemon juice or orange juice, that is called ceviche. It's a big dish in Peru. Bottom right, okay, so I'm talking here. This is called el maiz, okay, actually called, like you remember pastel de choclo? Whoops, so choclo is like the type of corn. Choclo. It's large corn kernels. And this one might freak you out a little bit. If you look at that on the plate, maybe you can see that it is actual, actually a guinea pig. It's a local specialty. Um, and it is called quay. 
All right, and that completes the notes on culture in pictures um, with some highlights about Peru. Just scroll back up to the top. And there is amazing Peru. Okay, gracias.